Okay. So chemical mixture problem, the second type that we're going to do. Uh, how much water must be evaporated from 400 gallons of a 15% saline solution to get a 40% saline solution? We're going to start with those formulas that we did when we did the chemical mixture problem type A. Um, we're going to kind of use the same thing. So let's do, so we're always going to have two volumes. So volume one, and it's either plus or minus, depending on what words we've got. Volume two uh, is always equal to the volume final. All right. And then we're going to add our concentrations. So like what percentage of each? So we've got the concentration of volume one plus or minus the concentration of volume two, which is equal to the concentration of volume F. All right, how much volume must be evaporated? So if we have the word evaporated, you guys might, wa might want to write that in your notes. Do you guys think that means plus or minus? Yeah, evaporated means we're going to subtract. And we're subtracting from 400 gallons. So our first equation is that we have 400 gallons, just the volume, and we're subtracting another volume to get a final volume. All right, now we're going to add the concentrations in front of it. So we're sub we have 400 gallons of 15% saline. So we're going to put a 15 in front of our 400. So the 400 is 15% saline. All right, we are evaporating water. Okay, so this is like you have to think a little bit. We're evaporating water. How much saline is in water, you guys? Uh, zero. Yeah, there is no salt. Okay, so we're subtracting zero V2. Sounds weird, but that's because there's no salt involved, so we're just subtracting that much. And now my final volume, so what does this say? We're subtracting, and we want to get a 40% saline solution. So we're taking water out, and we're going to make it more salty. So 40% goes in front of this one. My final volume, you guys, is always going to be what we subtracted here, or in other words, my final volume here gets plugged in right here. So I've got 400 minus V2. That's my final volume. Make sense? Now we can just solve the second equation. 15 times 4 is 60 plus two zeros. Zero times V2, you guys, what happens to that? Yeah, it just cancels. And so we have equals 40 times 400. That's 16 with three zeros and 40 times V2, so minus 40 V2. Um, I'm going to add the 40 V2 over to this side, so it's positive, and I'm going to subtract the 6,000 from this side, so that's 10,000. And then divide both sides by 40, and we get 250, and whatever we were talking about gallons in this problem. Okay, 250 gallons of what? What did we subtract? Water, right? We evaporated water. All right, let's try another one. When Frank and Mark finished milking, they found they had 900 pounds of milk that was 2% butter fat. How much butter fat did they have to add to raise the butter fat content to 8%? Sounds gross. All right. So we've got our formulas. The first one is just volume, right? So if we look back here, we're going to start with this formula right here with our volume. Um, so in this case, um, we have 900 pounds of milk. Okay. And then are we adding or subtracting in this problem? Yeah, it says how many or how much butterfat did they have to add? So we're going to add some amount of butterfat.
our fat, and we're going to get our final volume of butter fat after we add to it. All right, now we add the percents to it. So 900, what concentration goes in front of that? We have 2%. So 2% butter fat is what we started with in our 900 gallons. And our second one, now we're just adding how much butter fat? We're adding butter fat. What concentration is that? We're adding pure butter fat. Mm. How much concentration is that? It is 100% butter fat. Okay. So 100% of that guy, all butter fat, is equal to, uh, we want to raise the butter fat. Butter fat content to 8%. All right, that means I want my answer to have 8% times VF. And we always plug in what VF is equal to, which is this guy right here into our equation. So 900 plus V2. And we can solve now. 2 times 9 is 18 plus the two zeros here uh, plus 100 V2. Uh, 8 times 9, 72, two zeros, and then 8 times V2. Uh, let's see, do we need color? Subtract the 8 over this side probably, so I have 92 V2. And subtract the 1800 from this guy, and that gives me 5400. Divided by 92 on both sides here. And what uh, decimal do you guys get? Do you guys get a decimal? Did get that? Yes. Pounds of butter fat. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> All right, there we go. So let's try one more of these. Virginia and Campbell had 100 grams of 20% glycol solution. How much of 40% glycol, glycol solution uh, should they add to get a solution that is 35% glycol? So <laughs> add or subtract from this one. Add. So the first one's just the volume. So we're starting with. 100, we're adding some amount of volume, and we're going to get our final volume. Now we're going to add our concentration. What should I put in front of 100, you guys? 20, because that one's 20%. And we are, how much of a 40% solution should they add? So we're adding a 40% solution. So what goes in front of V2? 40. And our answer, we want to get a solution that is 35% glycol. So we put 35 in front, and then we're going to substitute in for VF, what VF equals, which is 100 plus V2. So 20 times 100 gives me 2,000. 35 times 100, 3,500, and 35 times V2. I'm going to subtract the 35 over here, so I get 5 VW. And I'm going to subtract the 2,000 over here. That gives me 1,500. And divide by 5, so we get 300. And what were we talking about here? Kilograms of 35%. All right, you guys try this one. 